not true. I've got ladies in the grill area this morning and we're showing you how to cook up something really delicious. I'm actually here with the hopeless housewife, Erica Monroe Williams. Good morning to you. Thank you for thank being you so here. Much, Erica, and for thank having you me. for bringing your lovely daughter, Madison. She's my sous chef. She's today. stirring it up. <laughs> I love Always it. She's willing to help. All right, so this morning we're making, um, what are we making? Ribs? Grilled Tuscan ribs. Yum. And this is perfect. We, you know, the goal here today for this weekend is, you know, hide the tongs from dad this morning. Yeah. Mama's on the grill. Serve him. Yes. Let exactly. him relax. Let him kick his heels up, have a beer or Jack Daniels, whatever he wants. Yeah. So um, a lot of people are, we were just talking how people are intimidated by ribs and some people have like a recipe where they'll boil them in Coke for three days sure. and throw them. It's really, it doesn't have to be that hard. I found the best rib recipe from Gina's Homemade. It's a gourmet, she has a gourmet food, um, uh, food specialty foods um, in Arizona. Awesome. So really what this is Put all about. Work. Yes. So here, if you could just, one of the key ingredients is rosemary. If you could just pull the rosemary off of this okay. while I season. A yep. little salt. Okay. A little garlic and salt. And you just got these ribs at, at Ralph's. I got these at Ralph's. That's you want to know. find a nice meaty um, cut of ribs that has just a little bit of fat on it. Yeah. And you want them to feel heavy and thick. The key ingredient, Tuscan seasoning. All kinds of, this is Urban Accents. You can get this online. It's kind of hard to find in the stores. But a lot of different companies make a Tuscan seasoning. Okay. So don't be shy with this. You want to. pour yes, it on. Yes. And one of the things that helps this stay is I just spray it with a little bit of grill spray. Okay. And it helps everything kind of stick. Yep. And then so you're doing a good job there. Thank you. Are you handy in the kitchen? <laughs> I love affirmation. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm okay. I'm decent. I'm decent. Okay, well, it looks like you're doing a good job. Okay. And this is this is really, you want to be generous with this Tuscan seasoning. Okay, so don't be stingy. Toss, exactly. Now I push this into the meat. Okay. And then we're going to just toss these on the grill. They need to cook 30 minutes on each side. Okay, and on high or medium? You want to put it on low, low, medium, low. Okay. These rosemary catch fire. So you want to be careful. Okay. And so when you put it on the grill, some's going to fall off. It's fine. That's okay. Just toss it on. Don't worry about and it. And as you can see, we've got our, these have been grilling for an hour, 30 minutes on each side. They're so tender and flavorful. We're also making our spicy grilled watermelon salad. <gasps> so, Stop it. Yes. Stop it. I'm not kidding. So, okay, let's cleaver these and then we're going to get on that. Okay. So I'm just going to show you, we just kind of get into the in-between. I'm going to stabilize the table like, right thank here. Thank you very much. <laughs> so if you love ribs, Dig in. Oh, I will. You and do not have to I'll tell just me leave twice. it right here. And yes. the key ingredient here also is lemon. You okay. Squeeze lemon over the top. Okay. It right just after you're get, done. Uh huh. Right off the grill. Look at how good that looks. And <gasps> voila. Mama okay. mia. Let's get yeah. to the salad. This and looks Dad was really nowhere healthy. near the grill. Tell him to sit down. So I'm just wash you go my hands. Watch sports. <laughs> you go watch some. Exactly. Golf. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so we grilled the watermelon up. And this website, I have step by step instructions on my website. Love it. Um, so this is basically grilled watermelon. Okay. And you just grill it and char it, get it warm with cucumbers, cilantro. I put a little bit of red onion, and then I put some jalapeno. And you know, you can make it as spicy as you want. I like a little spice. So I, I you like know, a even, little spice too. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. So a little pepitas and then some queso fresco. And <laughs> stir that in, Madison. She's going to... Oh, Madison, you're good at this. You've okay, done this perfect. before, haven't you, Madison? And then we just spoon this over oh, some... Oh, how beautiful that looks. ...microgreens. And the then... Microgreens. Yes. And then this is just kind of something that's unusual. Dad's going to be totally impressed that you took over. But it totally says summer. When you look yes. at that, I mean, that's a total summer thing. It does. You're not ho hopeless at all. Why do you call yourself the hopeless you know what? housewife? Uh, a lot of times I have felt so hopeless in the kitchen. And I know a lot of people who, who do. So I've spent the last, you know, 10 years really coming up with great recipes that are really easy for anyone to make. This is so simple. Yeah. I'm serious. Anyone can do this. And that's my whole point. So you don't have to feel hopeless. You can make something fabulous for dinner and, and you know, it's simple. And it's easy. Yes. And what father wouldn't absolutely love this? Real quickly, how long did you grill the watermelon? Uh, I grill it you know, just till it's really charred. Okay. Char, char flip, cut it off, you can just, and then you cut it into cubes. Really simple. And honestly, okay. I think that this prep time on this is, is 10 to 15 minutes. Awesome. Prep time in this, yeah, let's get in here and let's, let's, let's get, see if Let's you, get up in here. Here's the deal. This is the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. If you want more information from the Hopeless Housewife and all her recipes and cooking tips and instructions and all of that, you actually have videos too, how-to videos on your, on your Lots website. Lots of how-to on uh, the website. All you have to do is go to our website, fox5sandiego.com. Ladies, thank you. Raul. You, my friend, have Wine Wednesday. 
<laughs> but I have Rib Friday. Uh, you're going to eat it all? You're not going to share? Mm -mm. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit? Mm -mm. Sometimes I bring you wine. Come on. Whatever. Please, Erica. Please. Okay. Thanks anyway. Still ahead here on Fox.